Well, good morning. Welcome to Kings at Home Daily. This Monday morning, welcome from me, Golf. And so glad you could join us for these next few moments to enjoy some time listening to what the Lord has to say to us from the book of Revelation we're going through at the moment to, 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 to stir our hearts, strengthen us in our walk with the Lord. I uh, hope this is helping you in your devotion, your daily walk with the Lord. And uh, we're going to pray that now as we as we start our study this morning. Lord, we want to live on you, Lord Jesus. We, we, we want to walk with you. Lord, so many things buffet us and blow us and potentially trip us up. We say to you this morning, we want to walk with you. So please help us. Come and speak to us this morning, I pray, as we spend these few moments in, uh, in your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, we're, we're in the book of Revelation. We're, we, we've been going through the different churches uh, that, that John is writing to, churches that he knew and loved and cared about. And he's, he's bringing something very prophetic, something from the Lord to these churches. And, I, 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 you know, I, I've been really challenged with this, that, that the reality of the, the, the fact that Jesus stands among us. I mean, he, he stands among us, the, 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 you know, the, among the candlesticks. He's there. He sees, he knows, he, he sees right through all the, the exterior and all the activity and all the, he sees through to our hearts and he, he's got things to say to, to us. And, and I, I've been challenged all the way through, Lord, what would you be saying to us as a church family? What, what, what would the headlines be? What are you saying to us at this time in our nation? Well, we've gone through all the churches. We've, uh, well, the last one we started off with Ephesus, you know, this, this hard-working church where they'd lost their first love. Smyrna, where, bless them, they were just under the cosh and there were people being martyred. And we're in Pergamum, Thyatira, Sardis, and then we've just finished Philadelphia. Now we're one that you've all heard of, Laodicea. And we're going to come across one of the perhaps best known uh, verses in the Bible in just a moment. So here we go. To the angel of the church in Laodicea write, These are the words of the Amen, the faithful, the true witness. <clears throat> oh dear, there's a clue here. Do you remember I said all the way through this? Jesus presents himself to each of the churches in just the way that they need. In other words, what they are not, he wants to bring. So when he says the words of the, uh, words of the Amen, the faithful and true witness, clearly the church at Laodicea is not a faithful and true witness. Okay. Um, the ruler of God's creation... I know your deeds, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either one or the other. So because you're lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. Ouch. Oh my word, this is hard. What's going on here? Lord, Lord what, where's your grace and kindness? What is happening? Well, let, let me just give you some background here. Uh, but by the way, people who take a very futuristic view of the book of Revelation, uh, it, instead of seeing these letters to the churches as being literally letters to churches that, are, that apply to those churches and, and, and apply to all, all, all the letters apply to all of us as scripture applies to, to us they would say that each church represents an era of church history and of course they then conclude that we're, we're the last age of church history, we're the Laodicean uh, church, well you know, uh, while the, 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 you know the, the, there might be some truth in that, the fact that the, 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 a lukewarm church in our day, we can also, we would probably also, mm, yes, it can be a bit like that. I don't, I'm, I'm not, I don't believe that that's quite how the, the Bible works. I think that the whole of Scripture applies to us, and, and all these letters to the churches apply to us. 
Uh, and at, at any one time across the nation, the nations, there will be churches like all of these churches we've been looking at. Plus, and here's the important thing, I believe that Jesus is coming back to a glorious church. He's building his church and he will be coming back to a, a he'll, he'll come back to a, a glorious church. The gospel having gone out to all the nations. That's not to say that in some places there'll be lukewarmness. However, as I say, I think he'll also be coming back to, to a faithful church who are ready, waiting, longing. Okay, so let us see. The words of the Amen, faithful and true witness. Well, of course, this is speaking about the Lord Jesus, isn't it? Is, is it one, is it two, 2 Corinthians 1, I think. It's in 2 Corinthians 1 where, where it, 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 all the promises of God are yes and Amen in the Lord Jesus. Is that right? I shouldn't quote scripture with, but incorrectly, should I? 2 Corinthians, uh, let me have a quick look. I hope I've got it right. 2 Corinthians and uh, chapter 1, uh, oh sorry, I'm using up valuable time here. 2 Corinthians 1 and round about verse 20. Boom, boom, boom. Um, um, for no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ. <laughs> and so through him the Amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. Isn't that beautiful? Now it is God who makes both us and you stand firm in Christ. Isn't this beautiful? I, I, I've got to read that again. It's, it's great. Glad I turned here, you know. No matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ. They're sealed. They are, they are affirmed uh, and they, they reach their fulfillment in the Lord Jesus. So through him, the Amen is spoken by us. Yes, Lord, so be it. Amen. That's what Amen means. So the Amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. Now it is God who makes both us and you stand firm in Christ. Isn't that oh, God? That's great to take hold of that this morning. If you're, if you're wobbling, feeling insecure about your life and your, your future. I know I've gone off track a bit. Blow, let the Holy Spirit speak to us. He anointed us, set his seal of ownership on us. Isn't that great? And put his spirit in our hearts as a deposit, guaranteeing what is to come. Oh, I love this. I, do you know, in my, if, I would, this, if this were my devotions, this, I, would, I would linger now at this point. You often find the Lord leads you, you know, as you're reading. You might, you, you might be starting off in Revelation and then you, oh, crumbs, my time's really gone. And, and, then you, and then you just find yourself going somewhere else. And I, Forgive me. I, I, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm just going to, I want to give this word to, 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 to us, some of us here this morning. Because I feel God speaking to us. This yes and amen. Jesus is the amen. He, he's the one who all the promises of God are fulfilled in him. And, and we say amen. We affirm. We say, yes, Lord, I trust in you. And we need to do that regularly. Lord, I'm trusting in you. It might be wobbly and hard, but I'm trusting in you. And the Lord loves it when we, when we live like that. It's, and it's God. Who, now it's God who makes us both, but both us and you stand firm. He's going to keep you. To, to, that lovely words we've got them actually on our stairs. To Him who's able to keep you from falling, and present you faultless. Isn't that beautiful? He's able to keep you. He set His seal of ownership on us. Put His Spirit in our hearts as a deposit guaranteeing what's to come. Lord, I thank you for these wonderful words. You are the Amen, the faithful witness. Lord Jesus, it's because of you that we have confidence to face the future. And we say Amen to all your promises to us. Lord, we trust in you. We put our trust in you today. Whatever's happening in our lives, we put our trust in you. We thank you. You've put your seal of ownership on us. We belong to you. We're yours. And, and the Holy Spirit, pray for more of the Holy Spirit in our lives today, guaranteeing what is to come. So go with us, I pray. In Jesus' name. Amen.
Okay, we didn't get very far with Laodicea, did we? Come back tomorrow and we'll do some more with Laodicea. Have a great day. Bye now.